In this video, I'm gonna show you how to color correct the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So let's start with the color correction and what it means if you're a beginner in video editing. When you are color correcting a video, you basically adjust the shot for the best exposure, you will take care of the white and black points and eventually you correct the white balance if it's necessary. When you are color grading, you are adding a certain look to the footage a specific mood by inserting complementary colors into the shadows and highlights. So there is a difference between color correction and color grading. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to color grade in Premiere Pro, just hit the like button and I will do that tutorial. So you need to have Premiere Pro CC to have access to this Lumetri panel and if you don't see it anywhere on the screen, just go to Window and activate Lumetri Color. A secondary panel that you want to use is the Lumetri Scopes panel, which can be found in the Window menu as well, right here. If you will open it for the first time, you may see two or three kinds of scopes. Just make sure you right-click in the Lumetri Scopes panel and keep the waveform Luma active. And also go to Waveform Type and choose Luma. Okay, we have the panels that we need on the screen, so let's see what we can do with this footage. As you can see, the image is a bit flat, so it doesn't have so much contrast, and it's underexposed for me. We can raise the exposure with a specific amount, but how do we know if the bright parts are blown out or not? Or if we drag down the shadows, how do we know if specific areas in the clip are not too dark or 100% black? Well, it's very simple. We can use the Lumetriscopes panel, which will tell us technically if we have blown out areas or if we have areas which are too dark. We have a 100 value for highlights and a zero value for dark pixels. To have a correct footage, you don't want the highlights to reach 100 and the shadows to reach the zero value. This clip that we are editing now needs to have a good exposure for the first part when the woman is coming out from the forest and also when the camera follows her until the bright sky comes into the frame. For example, if I bring the exposure up to 1.8 or 2, at the middle of the scene when the sky comes in, I can see in the lumetriscopes that the highlights are blown out. I'm losing details there, so this exposure is not the right one. In this case, the best thing to do is to expose for the sky first. I can reset the exposure slider if I double click on it, and as a personal preference, I will first add some contrast to the footage. I will go with a value of around 80. Also, please keep in mind that this is a creative process. Everyone is free to use these sliders in a different way. There is not a right or wrong way for the final look, so feel free to create your own style. Okay, next I will adjust the exposure slider to something like 0.5 or 0.6, something like that. Every time I modify a slider, I throw my eyes on the lumetriscopes on the left side of the screen to make sure I'm not exaggerating with something. So now, if I check the sky at the end of the footage, looks like the highlights are okay and they are not blown out. Let's go to the blacks and bring it down to minus 28 or minus 30. And if I take a look at the scopes, I can see that some pixels are getting really dark here, reaching the zero value, but it's not a big problem as long as there are just a few. Okay, starting to look more appealing now, there is also a slider called Shadows, which is affecting the midtones, so I think I will bring this down as well to something like minus 20. I could also increase the saturation for the overall look, but instead I will only increase saturation for the green color because I want a more vibrant look for the leaves and grass I feel that the scene looks more fresh like that. For this one, I will use the Curves panel. And there is a color wheel at the bottom of the panel. Under the panel, I have six colors. Every single time I click on a color here, three control points are added on the color wheel. I click on the yellow, I have three points. I click on the green color, three more points were added, and so on. If I want to reset the wheel, I just double click on it. So I will click again on the yellow and the green colors to add those six points again. Like I said before, I would like to make the grass and leaves more vibrant. And this is so easy. I just drag this control point to the front and back just to check which colors will be affected in the footage. Just take a look how I increase and decrease the saturation in the greens. So obviously, this is the control point that I need to modify. 
and I will push this to the exterior of the color wheel to increase the saturation. And I can click here to close the curves panel and check the before and after for the greens. It looks very good. I think the scene looks good now, so let's play it again. Meanwhile, I can see the scopes in real time, the blacks are looking good and when the sky comes into the frame, I don't have blown out highlights. Let's see a before and after for the whole effect. I will just go to the effect controls and I will enable and disable the Lumetri effect here. Just take a look at the footage. What a big difference. We started with a flat look and we have this nice looking footage in the end. So this is how you color correct footage guys. 